Hi friends, Dr. Lewis here. Today we are going to be working on meeting this standard, which is fourth grade measurement and data. It's A, because it's the first of that cluster of standards, and two, because it's the second of the A group of standards. The target that we're gonna be meeting within that standard is, I can use the four operations to solve word problems involving distance, time, volume, that's liquid volume, mass, the mass of objects, and money. So since we're gonna be working with word problems this week, I wanna show you a really awesome way to help you tackle those tricky word problems. And one of the ways that we tackle tricky word problems, especially ones that use more than one of the four operations, maybe it's multiplying and adding or dividing and subtracting, or multiplying and dividing, whatever it is, you're using multiple operations, we've gotta take some steps in order to make that happen and be successful. So, one method that we can use is the CUBES method. This is an acronym. Each one of these letters stands for a different word. And so CUBES, the C in CUBES stands for circle, key, numbers. The U in cubes stands for underline the question. The B in cubes stands for box math action words. So those are the words that are going to lead us to knowing which operations we're going to be using. E stands for evaluate. And when we evaluate, we ask ourselves, what steps should I take? And that brings us to the S in cubes, which stands for solve. We are going to solve and then we're going to check. Okay, so we're going to be using this strategy, the cubes method, to help us solve word problems this week. And we're going to learn how to use cubes using one example from the work that is linked into your playlist. So this is one of the problems that is in your playlist that we're gonna use the cubes method to solve. So let's go ahead and get started. First, before we apply the cubes method, we have to read. We always read closely, so maybe that means reading more than once. In this case, we're gonna have to read several times to make sure we meet all of these. So I'm gonna read it just once all the way through. I'm not gonna annotate it yet. In Emma's supply box, a pencil weighs three ounces. Her scissors weigh three ounces more than the pencil. And a bottle of glue weighs three times as much as the scissors. How much does the bottle of glue weigh in pounds and ounces? Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do now that we've read it, we're gonna read it through again because we're closely reading this problem, but as we're reading it through this time, we are gonna circle key numbers. Now this word key is important because a lot of times problems will give us distractors and they'll give us more numbers than we need. And so we need to make sure that these are key numbers, numbers that are gonna help us solve the problem. And if you're not sure, just circle them anyway. All right, so in Emma's supply box, a pencil weighs three ounces. So a pencil weighs three ounces. Her scissors weigh three ounces more than the pencil. And a bottle of glue weighs three times as much as the scissors. How much does the bottle of glue weigh in pounds and ounces? So we have circled the key numbers. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to underline the question. Okay, so we need to make sure that when we're reading this, we're looking for the question and we're gonna underline it. In Emma's supply box, a pencil weighs three ounces, 
Her scissors weigh three ounces more than the pencil and a bottle of glue weighs three times as much as the scissors. How much does the bottle of glue weigh in pounds and ounces? Well, I guess it would help if this had a question mark, right? Because that, my friends, is our question. How much does the bottle of glue weigh in pounds and ounces? So once we've underlined our question, set up your answer in advance. Set up your answer in advance. And what that means is my question is how much does the bottle of glue weigh in pounds and ounces? I'm gonna set up that, that answer by taking the question and turning it into a statement. The, what are we looking for? How much does the bottle of glue, the bottle of glue weighs, now our answer is gonna be in pounds and ounces, so I'm just gonna do this. The bottle of glue weighs blank pounds, blank ounces. And so we know that our answer is going to be the bottle of glue weighs blank pounds, blank ounces. So once you have underlined the question, always set up your answer so that way you can um, be really focused on what it is that you're looking for. All right, next we need to box some math action words. Now this one, it can be tricky at times because we don't always know what our math action words are. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the relationship between the key numbers and the question to help us figure out what the math action words are. So, in Emma's supply box, a pencil weighs three ounces, okay? Her scissors weigh three ounces more than the pencil. Okay, so her pencil weighs three what? Three ounces. I'm gonna box that word ounces. Her scissors weigh three ounces more than the pencil. That is gonna tell us how we're going to figure out how much her scissors weigh, because they weigh three ounces more than the pencil. So that more than the pencil tells us what operation we're gonna be using. And a bottle of glue weighs three times as much as the scissors. So we have to know how much the scissors weigh to figure out how much the glue weighs, but we have to find out how much the scissors weigh by using how much the pencil weighs. So all of these actually go together. Look at all those colors, my goodness. Okay, so now we need to evaluate. Now we need to look at the words that we boxed and the numbers that we circled to figure out what steps should I take. Now remember, the steps that we're taking are getting us to how much the bottle of glue weighs. So, why don't you pause the video, take a moment and ask yourself, what steps should I take? Evaluate this question. All right, welcome back. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use these math action words and these key numbers to evaluate and figure out what steps should we take. So, we are going to see how much the pencil weighs, how much the scissors weigh, and that information will lead us to how much the glue weighs. Okay, so in Emma's supply box, a pencil weighs three ounces. Her scissors weigh three ounces more than the pencil. So we know that the pencil is three ounces and the scissors are three ounces more than the pencil. So if we're trying to figure out what's three ounces more, we add three ounces. So the scissors weigh six ounces. 
So we know the pencil weighs three ounces. Now we know the scissors weigh six ounces. How much does the glue weigh? So the glue, a bottle of glue weighs three times as much as the scissors. So how much do the scissors weigh? Six ounces. And if we're figuring out the glue bottle, how much it weighs, we need to have three times as much as the scissors. So what do we do to figure that out? It's right in the word times. We multiply the three ounces that the scissors weighed, or excuse me, that the glue weighs three times as much as the scissors weighed. So how many ounces does the glue bottle weigh? That's right, 18 ounces. Now, is that going to be our final answer? It's not because, remember the question says, how much does the bottle of glue weigh in pounds and ounces? I'm gonna direct us back to our learning target. We've gotta be able to solve these word problems involving mass and things like that and weight. So we need to go back to our work from last week and do a conversion table from pounds to ounces. So I'm gonna set up my conversion table right here and that is gonna be part of the solve and check in cubes. So I know that pounds and ounces, I know that one pound is 16 ounces because of my work last week, I remember that. So let's see how much two pounds would be. That is 16 plus 16 or 16 times two. So we can take two times the six in the ones place, that's 12. We can carry that 10 over. And then we have two times one in the tens place, that's 20 plus this 10 up here, that's 30. So we're somewhere between one and two pounds. We don't quite have two pounds, but we have more than one pound. So what does that mean? What is our next step in solving and checking? Yeah, we've got another step. We've got to take 18 ounces minus the 16 ounces in one pound to find out how many leftover ounces there are. 18 minus 16 is, that's two ounces left over when we take away the one pound or the 16 ounces. So that means the bottle of glue weighs one pound, two ounces. So friends, I want you, as you're working this week, I want you to think about using the cubes method in order to help you solve these challenging word problems that use the four operations. You're also gonna have to go back to your notes and maybe some of the videos from last week to remember how to convert pounds to ounces, minutes to hours, days to months, whatever it might be that you're working with because all of these problems are gonna be involving all different types of conversions. So we're gonna be converting distance, time, volume, mass, money. So I want you guys to remember the cubes method is the way to get there, but you've gotta think back and dig deep into your knowledge bank to remember all this stuff. So it's gonna be a combination of both. I know you're gonna do an absolutely awesome job. I can't wait to see what you do. Um, have a great day, bye.